Hey, welcome to our scene on Tay-Sachs disease, represented by this amusement park over here, where there are these kids who have historically brought their tea sacks with them onto the ride. These tea sacks are going to help us remember that this scene is about Tay-Sachs disease. Now if you'll note, there are several Ashkenazi Jews waiting in line to go onto the Ferris wheel, well, before the airplane crashed into it. We'll explain what this airplane is all about in a moment, but first, Let's explain that the reason why we have Ashkenazi Jews in this scene is to help us remember that Tay-Sachs is a disease that classically presented in Ashkenazi Jews. Now let's take a look at one of the guys over here. We see that this guy over here, whose name is Gary Miller, is holding Reese's chocolate. Reese's chocolate shows up in our videos of diseases that are inherited in autosomal recessive fashion. Reese's for recessive. Now why is the fact that his name Gary Miller important? Let's explain. If you take a look, this Ferris wheel over here actually looks like a hexagon, and it has an A on it. People refer to this Ferris wheel as the hexagon A. Hexagon A helps us remember hexosamina does A, and the fact that in this scene over here it's exploding by the crashing airplane reminds us that the deficient enzyme in tay disease is hexosamina A. The GM2 ganglioside accumulates, and that's represented over here by these guys over here. Their names are also Gary Miller, as we can see from their shirts. And they're on their side. So these are the Gary Millers on their side. The GMs on their side. But again, the GM2s that are on their side. GM2 on their side for GM2 ganglioside. And the fact that there are a lot of them helps us remember that there's an accumulation. There's an accumulation of GM2 ganglioside due to the deficient enzyme hexosaminidase A. This accumulation of GM2 ganglioside leads to the symptoms seen in a patient with Tay-Sachs disease. And for that, let's get to this guy over here. This was the terrorist behind the whole crash. Let's take a look at him. The first thing we know is that he is a nerve cell, an evil nerve cell. This evil nerve cell will help us remember that Tay-Sachs disease is a progressive neurogenerative disorder. And the fact that this nerve terrorist over here is developmentally delayed will help us remember developmental delay. We note that he has cherries hanging from his eye, which helps us remember the cherry red spot on the macula which presents in Tay-Sachs disease. And the onion coming out the other side reminds us of the, of the lysosomes with the onion skin. This happens when the GM2 accumulates in the lysosomes. And perhaps this hyper-acute guy popping out of his ear will help us remember hyperacusis, which is another symptom seen in Tay-Sachs disease. Unfortunately, Tay-Sachs is a disease that has no cure and is always fatal, which is why there are programs geared towards preventing carriers from marrying each other in order to prevent the development of Tay-Sachs in the child. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on Tay-Sachs disease. Take care.